chuck wagon. I had to get rid of the box on, on top of the dummy deck right here. When the box was up here, what was happening is, as I started to speed up on the bike, I was getting like a wobble. I guess like a high speed wobble from all the weight being here. Because there's not enough weight. I did was I took this trailer that I had built in the previous video for my folding bike and I rigged it up to carry my kitchen. And what we got here is a full size cooler. It's call me cooler right here. Bought this at Goodwill for eight bucks. Brought it home, cleaned it up. You can see it's not in the greatest of shape. This is cracked, but I don't really care. If you look down in here, you can see I directly bolted it to the frame of the trailer. I also drilled holes through it for these brackets to hold the box containing all of the cookware. This box, I bought at Menards, it was like 10 bucks. And the reason I switched from a milk crate to a box is because I needed a way to be able to clean dishes and you know clean up after you cook. Well, if you take everything out of this box, this becomes nothing more than a basin. I can clean up everything in there, wipe it dry, put everything back in, we're good to go. On top of the box is a Coleman grill. This side of the Coleman grill is a single burner. This side over here is a grill. It's an actual little grill with a little aluminum uh, non-stick plate. Works great for like grilling ribeyes, chicken, and pork chops, and burgers, whatever has a little drain pan down in there for the grease. The way that I created the hitch was a simple 2x4 block. Got a plate, some washers. The washers are there to elevate this above the bolts so that they don't catch when I'm turning. Got a simple wing nut that holds it all together so this can't pop off there. Got a lock washer. On the back of the trailer, we have an axe and a shovel. Clean my little shovel up, painted it bright orange. It's tied on there with cordage. I love using cordage. Put this back on there. Now, these brackets right here are what holds this from jumping off there. And for side to side, I got cordage, of course. The cordage comes up through here, over the top, down through these nice holes that are in the lid. This keeps the lid secure. Comes down through the brackets and around, tied on tight. Keeps it from rocking from side to side, and so far it's working really well. The other good part about this trailer is, let's say you had two of these boxes. You can keep all your camping supplies in one, have an empty one. So you, let's say you want to go get groceries. Let's say you don't have a cargo bike, but you have a hitch that you can hook a trailer to. So you got a full-size cooler to put all your cold stuff in. Freeze a couple uh, empty milk jugs full of water, put them in there, ride to the store. Get all your cold stuff, put it in there, put all your dry goods in here, lash it down, and away you go, back home. It can serve dual purposes. Then when you want to go on a trip, you got the cooler, and you got the all your, all your cook gear. The uh, Alice packs that I had in the previous video will still be used to hold canned goods, cleaning supplies, propane, and where they're going to be is just lashed together, and they'll be over the dummy deck hanging on each side on top of these bags, keeping all the weight low, which I think will be perfect for that. So hopefully this weekend we uh, get to go out and test it out. It might just be me. My woman may have to work. I'm not sure. But that's where we're at now. This is a prototype. The only thing I'm not liking is all this weight at the top of this. When you go over bumps, sometimes it wants you to rock up on one wheel. I don't really like that. But that's because the cooler's empty. If the cooler was full of stuff, I believe it would it would work out perfectly, no problem. Um, 
but after I test this some, if I don't if I don't like it, I may build a one level trailer where the cooler and this cook stuff can be on there, and maybe even enough room for both the saddlebags to be on there. That will all be one level, low to the ground, and then I'll I'll build a fifth wheel hitch that comes up. And the reason I built this type of hitch is because it's like a fifth wheel. This uh, bolt is just in front of the hub on the rear wheel, so it's just slightly in front of it. And when you, when you start riding, you don't even notice. I mean, the initial crank when you take off, you, you notice the weight. But once you're going, you don't even notice it. It's like it's not even there. I mean, the trailer and the bike are doing all the all the work. All I do is pedal. I don't even notice it's there once I'm once I'm going. But that's that's where we're at on the, the cowboy kitchen, the chuck wagon, the you know bike camping expedition trailer, whatever you want to call it. But hopefully this weekend I'll be able to get out, load this thing full of food, and go out, go for a nice ride, and cook up some, some food and stuff. And I'll bring the tripod and we'll do some more filming and you check it out. It's Cargo Bike Cowboy. I'm signing out. Y'all be careful and ride safe.